Hello, good day researchers. Welcome to Practical Research 1 with me. This is Ms. Zhang and let's continue discussing chapter 1. So, we've already discussed uh, chapter 1, introduction, okay, um, A, B, and C, rational, theoretical background, and the framework, and review of related literature, and review of related studies. That's part 1. And part 2 is uh, the problem, wherein you will write the statement of the problem or the SOP, the significance of your study in the scope and limitations. For today's discussion, we are going to focus on chapter 1, part 3, and chapter 1, part 4, since again, there are four parts in chapter 1. And um, those part 3 and 4 will be submitted together. All right, so let's um, review again, right, for chap part 3, no, nope, Chapter 1, Part 3, which is Research Methodology, we have A, Research Design, B, Research Environment, C, Research Informants, D, we have Research Instrument, E, we have Data Gathering Procedure, and F, Data Analysis Procedure. And for Part 4, it's just definition of terms, there are no subparts. Alright, let's get going. And for chapter 1, part 3, research methodology. Let's start with A, research design. What is the research design you will be using? Again, no, this has been discussed a couple of times already. We are going to use the phenomenological design, or specifically phenomenological qualitative research design. As per Creswell of 1998, no, uh, Creswell states that, a phenomenological study describes the meaning of the lived experience for several individuals about a concept or a phenomenon. Now, um, if again we will review, right? Our title usually begins with the lived experiences of, or it also begins with the perception of, no? Um, and about a phenomenon, since it's phenomenology. Uh, for example, your research topic is um, lived experiences of employed students. The phenomenon there is what? No? Katong? Yes, employed students. That's the phenomenon you're talking about. So, your research topic, the I, researchers, is considered to be the phenomenon since, again, ang ato ang design kay phenomenology man. Okay? So, that is the central phenomenon. Na example din here, no? So, in this part, you can write this paper used a phenomenological qualitative research design. Phenomenology is described as, so, to, pwede ni mo gamito na ang kanang um, definition ni Creswell, no? Or if you can find another definition of phenomenology, you can do, do so. Again, don't forget this site. This design is used as researchers want to investigate on the lived experiences of the individuals towards the phenomenon, no? Towards, um, let's say, teenage pregnancy, but for those nga teenage moms silang interview or towards um, the experiences of um, being a frontline worker during COVID-19 or towards online learning during the pandemic. Ba? Those are the phenomena no? nga ang inyong ipang choose. Okay? So, pwede na siya i-discuss din ha. Ang goal sa research design is imuhang i-discuss kung sa design used and why. No? Justify why that's the design being used. Now, let's have research environment. This is where the research is conducted. If you're exa um, example, your respondents are students in our school, then the, envir the environment that you will write here is University of Cebu Main Campus in your high school department. And if your respondents are from Cebu City, like for example, um, mga uh, frontline workers ang inyong interview, then specify where in Cebu City is your research environment. Or ibutang ni mo, no? Para mas specific, okay? So the goals our environment is the readers will know asa ang scope no taman sa inyong paper so kinsa man asa di ay no asa nga um, specific location no ang ang premise no sa inyong conduct na research paper, okay? So again, um, also since di ba we are having online classes, you can specify that if mga UC students ang inyong ipang interview that um, you are, you know, meeting in a virtual campus. No, So, na example din hinga, this study was conducted in University of Cebu main campus in your health department. 
Both the students and the respondents meet at a virtual campus considering that everything is done online nowadays because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Moreover, this is a social environment because it is convenient for the researchers, yada yada yada. So, ano, diba? Of course, one of the things bia nga, um, you are considering is the convenience for you. So, convenience siya nga kani akong respondents because ibutang sa ni mo siya dira. No? And again, ang goal ana is the use, uh, you tell no uh, ibutang ni mo sa imong writing asa di ay nahitabo ang ang inyong research. Okay, so that's just it. Letter C is the research in four months. Okay, so sa tong phenomenology nga study, um, more specific, no, dili na magbutang research participants or dili na magbutang research respondents at nang ibutang research in four months. Since these people are giving us the information on the central phenomenon nga atong gichoose. So, the research informants refers to the unsaman participants no, of the study. 5 to 10 informants are enough. Now, to back it up, nga 5 to 10 okay naman na siya if kaniyang ato ang method um, phenomenological. No? So, ako lang i-quote din here. This is from Creswell, J. W. of 1998, kaninga book, Qualitative Inquiry and Research Design, choosing from among five traditions. No? For phenomenological studies, Creswell recommends 5 to 25. And Morse suggests at least six. These recommendations can help a researcher estimate how many participants they will need, but ultimately the required number of participants should depend on when saturation is reached. Okay, so cutting data saturation, guys, it's a, it's a premise we're in. For example, no, um, you are in nag interview na ka og lima kabuok o um five kabuok participants. Yang ilangi pang answer ni mo. Same same ragyo dula kay bag kung nakuha so mo interview na ka ika sixth ika seventh ika eighth ana and then ini ka na interview na ka sa tanan ten niya let's say ang lima ana no sa ten kay balik balik naman oy so ang pwede ra jud nga the four of them dili na nimo siya iapil sa imuhang um, data interpretation and then ang imong final respondents kay six na lang kabuok that is the premise of data saturation and we are going to discuss in full detail on some data saturation no sa ato ang um, data analysis no ini ka uh, writing na nato pa sa chapter 4 okay but para lang sa inyo ha no um this is again no since we are also pressed for um not just time but also ang ato ang the kind of limitations ta since wala tay face to face na di ta pwedeng maka uh, do face to face uh, mga interviews niya online na lang pud tanan and since ningon uh, pansel si Creswell nga pwede ra jud no lima no 25 so 5 to 10 in 4 months are enough no for um our research so pwede inyong ibutang sa inyong paper nga 10 ang inyong respondents or ibutang yung 5 in your respondents no but again um ma finalize regid na siya ang content din ha once we are going to discuss this data saturation nga lamaw na lang ni akong respondents na bilin so ma-edit na sad na siya lang apart but for now please write 5 or 10 ka informants and that's already okay right in this part the criteria as well or qualifications for selecting your research informants kay nga nung sila man ang informants nga inyong napili diba dapat na adjud mo eh qualifications or the criteria and the nibutang sadang sampling method to be used as our sampling method should be purposive sampling and in the book no sa atong gigamit nga ebook by Cristobal and de la Cruz Cristobal of 2017 purposive sampling involves hand picking subjects usually to suit very specific intentions like um mo nang purposive kay you have a purpose like halang ako among um phenomenon miss kay um um, live experiences of frontline workers no, in the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So, of course, I am going to handpick mga dapat kuan sila, frontline workers sila, and then at the same time, sa may dapat nga mga uh, criteria nga imong ipambutang din ha, no, to choose them. So, ikaw din mismo nga choose ana purposively. No? This is also called judgmental sampling or purposive. Okay, so na example na researchers interviewed five informants for this study because as per Creswell of 1998, nga, di pa, enough to ang five ka-informants for phenomenology niya. These respondents are all grade 11 STEM senior high school students. Excuse me, the criteria of which the selection of informants is, um, the criteria of which the selection of informants is, one, they should be all taking them strand, two, they should have mathematics anxiety as assessed by the questionnaire. Ah, wrong, wrong, they not, don't uh, put ang R, wala na edit, no, but as assessed by the questionnaire, and then, and they should have one failing grade in math subjects. So, example, na for, ex 
nga ang imong phenomenon ani no kay katong lived experiences of of students no who have math anxiety niya kanang gusto pud ninyo nga dapat na asay failed na ano sa subject sa math kay inyo na pud nang a criteria so i write that down the sampling method used was purposive sampling and then ibutang nimo unsa gani na ang definition ng purposive sampling you can use kaning kang Cristobal and Dela Cruz Cristobal nga definition so that's it and then letter D no sa me- method is research instrument the instrument to be used is a magini siya ibutang researcher made semi structured interview guide questions and these questions are based on your statement of the problem questions then the example three the instrument used in this phenomenological study is a researcher made semi-structured interview guide questions the nine questions from the researchers were based on the statement of problem additionally so muna siya pwede ang intro no then imo lang ibutang kung unsay pa ma-add next e data gathering procedure this part discusses the process of gathering your data no so it starts with the transmit a letter nga ipasaya nato sa tong school principal asking for uh, permission to conduct a research paper or research study after the approval the researchers then makes the questions the researchers will look for in four months then for in four months the interviews are done and recorded the recorded interviews are then assessed Example, firstly, the researchers ask for approvals from the school principal by sending a transmitted letter. When signed and approved, all researchers made semi-structured interview questions. Secondly, the informants were selected based on the criteria. Ninyo. Thirdly, the interviews were conducted online following the rules of research ethics to protect Diba? Kaya nag-discuss naman sa taong ethics, you know how to protect your respondents. Fourthly, the recorded interviews were saved and also assessed by the researchers. Okay, so muna siyang gathering, no, procedure. And the last part is letter F, data analysis procedure. Uh, this is done through thema- thematic analysis and the use of coding is essential in the al- analysis. Significant statements are grouped into codes, codes are grouped into themes and into sub-themes. Not the example din hino, so data analysis procedure. To analyze the data, a qualitative descriptive analysis or thematic analysis will be used. After the data gathering procedure, transits onto interview will be created and the researchers will listen to records of the interview in order to analyze it thoroughly and to conduct it to the researchers themes researchers themes properly expounding thoroughly the following steps will be followed first the researchers will gather data through interview uh, from the students second the student uh, researchers will transcribe the interview so as to provide copies and to be able to analyze it better so you transcribe pa ang interview after sa pag transcribe um, analyze no according to the themes of the research so unsa the mga themes sa research o kani sa ilaha is causes challenges and coping practices then fourth the results of the interview will be interpreted lastly the interpretation of the interview will be written and also submitted okay so that's how uh, this is an example of the data analysis procedure nga part now um uh, i'd suggest no for all sa research method nga, nga part that we are going to um, use past tense. Okay, para di na ta maglisod inig ka. Mahuman na ang paper kay past tense man na since man na siya, man na ang method. So, mahuman na siya nga um, the thematic was used, no? So, ma was na sad na siya. So, um, para di na lang po mag-change change inig ka um, submit sa paper and di malibog everything in part 3 sa so chapter 1 which is research methodology um you can use no past tense so pwede na gid no to analyze the data um a qualitative descriptive analysis was used no transcripts of the interview was created and the researchers listened to the records okay so i past tense na lang na siya kay para inig ka um finalize sa paper no kay if imo ato mo gud siyang i future tense and then ini ka finalize na sa paper ninyo usabon man na siya para mahimo siyang past tense since the paper was done okay so para dili na lang ta malibog and then magisilis og tenses all right that's already um the end of chapter 1 part 3 research methodology let's discuss chapter and na ko example <laughs> okay so for example no research design and no so um Fundamental approach is to arrive as a description of the nature of the particular phenomenon according to Creswell, no? Commonality of the lived experience within a particular group. No, na siya ang meaning sa phenomenology. Okay, so you can write that down. Research local. Kaninga example, no? Okay. Katupaning nag-naay face-to-face. So, mo to nga. Um, mo ni siya nga. 
UC siya, and then the institution na science source, i-describe mismo ang ang place, no? Okay, nga to, since online man ta, again, use on sa to nga, um, the researchers and the um, respondents meet in a virtual campus, okay, so yung nga na on. Then, in four months, no? So, again, gathered per purposely, no? So, per purposive sampling. Okay, with reference to school records, research ensure that the informants qualify the following conditions. Okay, so again, unsa to'y dapat mga conditions to meet. One, un dapat sila unsa sila. Two, unsa. And then three, um, they are using social media, especially kay moment ng ilahang topic. Okay, so ibutang dara ang criteria. Next, as the study pursued an interview type, the researchers use purposive sampling. Then, unsa ng purposive sampling? Okay, so ibutang ni mo din ha. What's that? And then next, kay instrument of the study. Wala ni S, no instrument na siya. The researchers gather data through the use of students uh, or researcher made um, interview guide questions and the questions were really asked in a semi-structured interview. Okay? Then data gathering procedure. Ngayon sa nila, nangita sila sa kuan informants, nag kuan sila, nag nag story again sila kay face to face pa man siyang during that time no again and then um the informants cooperated and then unsa pa na din ha um and then um dapat na ay kanang consent no informed consent during the interview nag ask ko mga questionnaire and then um after the interview you just thank the informants no na and then data analysis procedure na dayon again thematic analysis the researchers transcribed no formulated meanings no and extracted themes from the formulated meanings the researchers then assess the answers okay and so man then mo na siya example sa kato okay so i it's very simple no kay dili siya need na taas kay ni suwat nimo kay it's direct to the point no and if you've noticed nga um kada part kay pwede ra jud one ka paragraph Okay, no? One, two, two paragraphs. So easy. Okay? Dali na siya. Kay mabara and direct to the point. Next is part four, definition of terms. So what's that? Usually in writing a research paper, the definition of terms is included. It helps in simplifying some of the technical terms, which are vital, no? And then this is advantages for the reader to include this to prevent the ambiguous meaning of the terms that might cause no ka nang ma-interpret siya sa other ways. Okay. Guide. It should be, one, alphabetically arranged. Two, indicate that it is operational definition. Three, include the major variables. No, unsay central phenomenon. Unsay to topic ninyo. And then unsay themes, which is nasa SOP questions. By the way, operational definition is the meaning of the term based on how it was used in the study. Example. So, actually, yun yung example. This is the last slide. The terms are op operationally defined based on how they are used in the study. So, so naguna si C, E, L. Meaning, gi, yung sam ni siya. Gi, alphabetical arranged niya. Challenges. Muna siya gi bold na siya. Naguna. Refer to the different struggles and problems faced by the informants as they work and study at the same time. Additionally, no, kay kanis siya nga definition of terms, kato maning uh, lived experiences of employed students niya. Employed students are students who have jobs with a contract, blah, blah, blah. For example, ano niya, last name sa author, nga ni define ana unsa ng employed students, and then the year. In this paper, okay, specific na the employed students are unsa man grade, are five kabuk, grade 11, ABM senior high students who are working, no, in fast food restaurants in Cebu City while studying in UC. Ana, okay, so, specify kinsa di ay ni sila para kabaluta nga, ah, okay, so, di harada ang scope sa employed students niya. Thus, lived experiences. So, lived experiences refer to a representation of the experiences and choices as per given of 2008. No, niya. Kanike. Specific naman to the employed students, no? Ang kaning lived experiences, kay kaning paper about them, no? And the knowledge that these students gain from the experiences and choices. So, this is how your definition of terms would look like. So, for example, no challenges, tapos napaka-coping mechanism, rabotang ng coping mechanism, tapos upat rin na siya ka-definition of terms. So, asa na dito mangita sa definition of terms, naa sa inyong title, and then naa sa inyong SOP questions and that's it no no more no less and this is how you are going to format that all right no so yes mubo or put the definition of terms um sa kanin karaan nga um format ang definition of terms like inanira experiences and then social media academic use and then that's it
no? Uh, short rapod siya. So, if you've noticed na nga, ang part 3 and part 4 of chapter 1, kay short but sweet and direct to the point, lagid na siya ang writing. Ani. And, ako lang na siyang i-highlight because I already, di ba, um, in our Google Classroom, I attached this, Advisor's Notes by Miss Jong. You already have a copy of that. And then, if tanawa na ninyo na, na siya yung mga notes, gudin ha. Ndo si, uh, research methodology, research design, unsan na, explain. Research environment, okay? Virtual campus. Mention kin sa respondents ninyo how many. Explain purposive sampling and cite your references. Define and then, now, wala din nabutang din noon. So, to dapat ibutang ang criteria nga nung sila ang gipili ninyo nga informants. And then, instrument. Researcher made semi-structured interview guide. No, kamoy nag, uh, and then, uh, researchers man ang magbuhat ani. No, we will be doing this. Unsan yung questions about? No, nasa to ang naasa ato ang um, SUP questions. And then, include the audio or audio-video recording. No, ibutang din hinga sa instrument na to. Panang, you, we will be using audio or video or, uh, recording. And then, data gathering procedure starts with the transmit a letter. And then, kata kung gibuhat kaniha, no? Gi-explain, include the average length. And then, sa data analysis procedure, is, this is where you discuss thematic analysis. Definition of terms. List only the variables. So, na. Phenomenons and themes. Ako na nang gibutang. Phenomenon. Di ay. And then, give the operational definition of each term. Arranged alphabetically and keywords in bold. So, na na example. Then, he... Okay, so again, ana connected lagi ng tanan. I hope that this will help. And uh, basically, that's it for chapter one, part three, and chapter one, part four. After um after we are after you submit this, no mag interview na dayon mo para makapart makarite na mo sa chapter. Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. Namo na lang siya ang last part sa paper. Alright, so we are halfway in our, in completing our research paper. Thank you um, for listening and um, see you researchers on our next virtual class. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye researchers. Enjoy the rest of today.